So in this video we're going to take a guided tour of the Math 157 statistics course. I'm recording this video in the summer of 2017, so if you're looking at the same course in the fall or spring, it might be slightly different in how the content is divided up, but the overall structure should be the same. Now when you first get into the course, you'll notice that we have a calendar here showing the next couple of weeks, and the assignments coming up are posted on their due dates, which is typically on Sunday. Uh, you can get a more interactive calendar by clicking on calendar in the top menu, and you can even skip ahead to see what's coming up in the future, or look at the entire semester at once. Under the calendar, you'll see current announcements for the week. So here we have the welcome announcement, um, but this will change each week, giving an update on which assignments are coming up. Uh, we then have the course information folder, which is where you're going to want to start looking. And in the course information folder, uh, we have the syllabus, course schedule, instructor information, information about the textbook, information about technology, and about some of the course policies and assignments. So make sure you read through all those. Uh, some assignments require you to click on links to open up separate documents, and others you just need to read through what's there. Uh, you notice that once I'm inside a folder, that I can use the back button in the browser, but I can also use the links at the top. And this is probably the better way to get back because you can get back in several layers into folders within folders and uh, using these uh, breadcrumbs at the top you can click here to get back to the main page. All right. Uh, then you're going to want to go in the orientation folder and this has some more information but uh, more importantly has uh, three beginning assignments. Um, sorry, four beginning assignments, uh, your autobiography, the course policy quiz, entering answers, and the equation editor. So uh, let's take a quick look at how forums work. The autobiographies and equation editors are both forums, and these are like discussion boards. And you click in here to contribute to discussion boards. You just click on add new thread, and then you give your thread a subject and type the content or body of the message in the message box. Uh, you can use all the features here to insert uh, videos or images, special characters, you can change the way the font and font size looks, and uh, do full word processing. Uh, the equation editor assignment will cover how to use the variety of math symbols that are available for displaying math type. Uh, to get to a list of all the forum assignments, you can click on forums at the top, and you can directly go to any of the forums. So we'll have uh, one forum assignment for each experience, uh, which is the name of the unit. The other homework assignments are set up as assessments with this little pencil and paper loco. And uh, the first two are the course policy quiz and entering answers assignment. And the layout gives you the number of questions listed here. You can click on them to go through them in any order. And then you can complete the question and hit submit. You also have the option to send me a private message if you are unsure about how to answer a problem or if you think there's an error. Um, you can also post a question about the problem to the forum where discussion can be started. Um, this can also be for having trouble with the problem. Oh, uh, one more thing. If we are doing these problems and we were to get a problem wrong multiple times, uh, we will get no credit and get marked wrong. Uh, in order to reattempt the problem, you'll have to hit try another similar question. That will give me 
a new version of the problem. Often they will have new numbers. With the entering answers assignment, the numbers don't really change. But with most of your uh, practice problem assignments, that will change. All right, uh, back to the main page. And then we see the main content of the course is the 10 units or experiences, and then the two exams. And we'll just go through these from top to bottom in order, uh, spending about a week on each one. And the one that we're currently working on will be yellow. Um, ones that are past due will be red, and the future experiences will be green. So there's a lot in each one of these experiences. You should go ahead and start from the top and read the title, following by the purpose statement and the objectives, and just read through each of these things. Um, you have the vocabulary, so open that up and read through the vocabulary. You have the textbook, so open that up. Now, the textbook sometimes, um, there's a certain focus for the textbook reading. Um, you also may want to get uh, a full version of the textbook, which is in the course information folder, and then uh, you can just look here for which sections to read. Right. Um, but go ahead and read through the textbook, and then we have videos, which you can watch in the embedded form, or you can actually open them up in YouTube and watch them in Hi, YouTube. Hi, I'm Barbara Ilowski. Again, with the videos, since we may not be covering entire chapters, just uh, watch what it tells you to watch. Sometimes it's just the first 20 minutes, sometimes it's just the last five minutes. So refer to those directions there. Uh, these are videos by the author of the textbook, so they'll match the textbook very well. Uh, I also recorded videos for you, and they'll be sometimes put in here with the videos, sometimes put in with the models for the applications. Um, methodologies are going to list procedures in step-by-step -step order, uh, along with examples and discussion to give you uh, good examples for how to go through the main procedures for any given unit. Each experience has its own discussion board or forum for questions, uh, so any problems from the practice here will link to this discussion forum. If you just have a general question about anything from this experience, go ahead and post it there. Um, there's always the graded practice assignment, and then there's the additional practice problems, which is a longer set of problems that does not count towards your grade. Uh, so people requested more practice problems because some people like to practice a lot. Um, so I gave them extra problems without making them be required for everybody. Um, if you need to get extended time on an assignment, this course does make use of late passes, and you can click on use a late pass, and it will tell you how many you have left. The late pass will then give you 48 hour extension, two days to more to work on the assignment. So the new assignment is now due Tuesday. Uh, in general, you can only use up to three late passes on an assignment so that it's done by the next week. And uh, then I can grade it the following Monday. So late assignments will be graded the following Monday. Uh, with the critical thinking, that's our standard weekly forum assignment. Um, make sure you look at the information and directions here. Um, the actual questions to answer are here. And the number of sentences or statements as a minimum length requirement is given in brackets. And then the grading rubric is given there. So uh, remember, once you post, you should be able to see other people's posts and the instructor's posts, and you should be able to make corrections. Make sure that all this is put into your own words, and that if you are taking anything from outside sources, that you quote and cite as appropriate. Uh, here are some videos that I've made. Uh, the course gives training in the form of using Excel, and everything here, the cell should work with older versions of Excel or with OpenOffice. So don't use any of the more advanced formulas in Excel. Everything should work with any version of Excel. Um, or the TI-84, TI-83 graphing calculator. Uh, some of this stuff looks a little different on the TI-83s or the older TI-84s. Um, but I don't have an emulator to give a video of how those look different. Um, so if you're having trouble with that, just let me know. Um, but it should be pretty much the same syntax as what's done here with the TI-84. 
So you want to kind of decide whether you're going to use one or the other. You don't need to use both. And in fact, there might be too much work to learn using both of these tools. Now, sometimes even within the experience, there might be another block or folder. And you need to click to expand that. Um, for instance, with the applications, I might want to put a data set along with the assignment. And so you need to open that up before you can click into the assignment. Now, you'll see that with the applications, these are more involved problems, and often they involve a lot of writing. So these are not going to be automatically graded. And when I first submit these, even if I have correct answers, I'm going to get zero points for anything that is manually graded. So anything that's a file upload or an essay. Um, that's because it's going to wait until I go in and grade. And I'll be grading applications the Monday after they're due, or if they're late, the following Monday. So don't worry about the grades being bad until after I've graded. Um, and let's see how that works. So uh, you would go to your grade book at any time, and you'll see all the assignments. And you'll see them separated by category. And you'll see at the bottom your averages for each category, as well as your average in the class. Now. Um, this only includes items that are past the due date. So when you first submit something, it won't immediately be added in there, unless it's past due. And then right Monday morning, when the due dates roll past, and before I've graded, you might see a grade dip down a little, because it's going to start counting those assignments, but I haven't actually gone in and graded those parts of the applications or critical thinking yet. So um, wait for me to grade, and then check back again Monday night. Now. Uh, if you need to go back to an old assignment, you can click on it. See. Uh, you should be able to see feedback in the feedback column, anything that I write. And then actually, once these assignments are past due, um, you'll be able to click on the grade. This will become an active link, and you can click on that. It'll take you back to the assignment um, that has the problem and your solutions. And that way, if you need to make a redo on an application, um, you can then find the information you need to make that redo, and then just go ahead and send me a message. So messaging is the best way to contact me for my courses. Um, just go ahead and hit send a new message, and choose Matthew Watts um, as the recipient. And then if it's a redo for an application, just let me know what it is. If it's any other problem, just let me know what it is and then go ahead and put in your new answers. Remember that multiple choice parts of applications can't be redone for credit, but often it may be necessary to figure out the correct answer for them to do the other parts. Uh, the last thing to mention would be the exams, and we do have uh, two exams in the course, and you can take them once you finished the experiences leading up to them. So for the midterm, once you finish the first five experiences, and for the final, once you finish the last five. There is a practice midterm exam that's very similar to the midterm exam, so I strongly recommend that you go ahead and take that, um, and that you are able to complete that within the time limit um, and get the grade that you want. You can do this over and over as many times as you like, uh, once you are ready, and I mean ready to actually take the exam, um, you would click on midterm exam. But don't click on there to get look in it ahead of time, uh, because once you click there, you have to start the exam, and you only get one try to do it. Each problem, you get one attempt, and that's it. So, uh, of course, do that before the deadline's up, or use a late pass if you need. Um, but make sure you prepare, and only click on that when you are ready. All right, well... That's a good rundown of the way the course works. Uh, you'll probably realize that the routine gets to be pretty familiar after the first couple weeks. And if you see anything that's wrong or you have any questions, just send me an email at mwatts at tcc.edu.